Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? How are you bearing up with all these intensities? So today, what I want to talk to you about, right on the cusp of this full moon here, is the masculine is rounding the home stretch. And it's going to feel like this because some of you are going to have this sense that you've been moving furniture and moving furniture and just moving furniture until the cows come home. Well, guess what? You're in the home stretch for some of that. Okay. What does this time frame require though? Because I'm hearing a lot of things and it seems like there's, you know, different opinions out there. And what I'm going to say to you is a few reminders. First, this is a process. Okay. There were two people involved. That doesn't just mean one union. It means actually two human beings, two human beings with flaws, with character flaws, with struggles, with hesitations, with things that they're a little bit afraid of. And maybe some of the big fears are gone, but sometimes those little fears are the hardest to overcome those humps that people try to get over or they think that they did it and they did it halfway. They just find out, well, I did it halfway. It's just not enough. That's a part of this energy. And yes, it's a process. And yes, it is highly metaphysical and physical. So the physical part is a lot of things, what people would call ascension symptoms. Okay, symptoms of something that's going on. Here's another thing I want to caution you about. Do not become angry with the medical community. They're trained to be medical, okay? There's a reason, because sometimes medical attention is necessary. There's also a reason why you're feeling things, and if you struggle with discernment, come to see me. I help with that. I'm very intuitive, but I go with guidance. I don't go by what's in people's heads. Also, all they require is someone to talk about themselves, and I can feel you from the high heart connections. Now, that's very different than the mental body because the mental body is going to be here, okay? It's limited. It's limited. You're going to pick up beliefs. You're going to pick up things. You're going to pick up, you know, all of the past you are getting rid of traumas from the past, ancestral patterns, and with the masculine rounding the corner, there's some other things that go with this. So you're going to have some of the things that come into play for your physical living together. You will be physically living together. There's a lot of doubt out there about that. I'm going to say this one more time, if you doubt, you're going to play ping pong with that. If you doubt your twin doubts, then they doubt, then you doubt. And then back and forth until it's like a bad ping pong game that just goes, tut, 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 tut. and then it goes and falls down. Okay. Use your discernment about what things are being said, because there's a reason, which I tried to tell you in my last video as to why things are the way they are. What if someone has used your passion for your lover against you? That's happened quite a bit. What if your lover has used that fire they have, you know, to move forward in something, leaving you behind? That's happened too. So we're in this other energy now that's going to bring a sense of balance, okay? With that balance has to go structure. And that is a very important part of your life, is structuring your life because it is a new life. This is a brand new life. It's not just a lifestyle. This is new. Your body is new. You two get to be new. I think I've said this before, but did you ever play games when you were a kid and the game didn't go the way you want and you say, do over, do over, you get to do it over, and everyone goes back to their places. We try to do it. And that's what you're getting now. You're getting a chance to do some things over. That's in that retrograde energy. 
you rewind a bit and it can make you feel like you're spinning your wheels or reviewing things again, but hopefully with different eyes. If you cannot see it, if it's nagging at you and you're just like, I can't pinpoint it, I'm too close to my own forest to see the trees, I don't get it, come to see me, okay? Come and have a session with me. In fact, come and have an energy session where we start getting it shifted. So with this energy is intended to become a lot higher level of your vitality, clear direction, and the moral compass. Now, this is something that people have perceived the masculine to be lacking. However, that compass has been pointed in a different dimension, not a different direction, a different dimension. Doing the right thing hasn't always meant doing what's best for our union. Doing the right thing might be loyalty to country, loyalty to a religious organization, just like people pledge their third son to the priesthood. This one's, you know, this one's the merchant, that one is the soldier, that one's the priest, and there it is. Your life is spelled out for you. Is that your man? Maybe. Maybe that's been your man from a past life. But where does the moral compass and the loyalty compass start turning to? Okay, it has to turn to you as the number one priority. And again, don't become angry about this. How love does this is with tenderness and warmth. So this is why I wrote the sun and the moon energy. Okay, you cannot get cold and, and withhold from each other. You're connected. This is an eternal connection. Even if you think that person has gone, you know, off someplace, you have the connection. I help you to feel that again. I help you to feel it on the inside so that you start getting back on that track again. And I remind you, this is a journey with it, where there is a destination and there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's your own light and love. It's not just, you know, an abstract thing. This is not a concept. It's not abstract. It really happens to real people. And sometimes you can't tell by looking at us. You can go to the store and play spot the twin flame and say, is that person a twin flame? That person's doing something twin flamey. Those two people look like twin flames. You may or may not know. Maybe that's a little game you play with yourself. But for some of us, you can't tell the internal conflicts, the turmoil, the emotional upsets that are occurring while people are trying to hold it together and holding old structures in place, there needs to be new structure. Now, how does that play out? Okay, with this sun and moon energy, the warmth of the sun, the vitality that the sun gives, even some of the nutritional aspects that the sun gives. Okay, if you're putting, you know, fruits and vegetables in, you are putting in some of the sun's energy. Some of you are saying, that's all I put in. I'm completely just putting that in. That's a good thing. What is your twin putting in? So if you're not sure, you might feel some of that. You're going to be feeling each other because forms of separation are coming to closure. That's what the Lionsgate did for us. It enabled you to put closure to the old paradigm. And with it, a lot of ways that you've been separate somehow. I do this, you do that. That's duality. I'm this, you're that. We're somehow separate. But you're reunifying parts of you. And in that process, you feel each other. You will feel things much more than you ever have before. But with that goes feeling, what do you help out with? How do you tune in? How do you get the most optimal guidance for yourself. That's where I come in to help you clear it yourself. Okay. Some people don't want to hear, you know, that this is a process and there's work and they say, I've been doing work and I've been doing work. What I can tell you is the fifth dimensional way is new and it does take a little bit of effort, but it is actually a lot less effort than fourth dimensional ways. And it's not to denigrate fourth dimensional ways. It's just that this is new. Why? 
because it will pertain to your pleasure, your material comfort, and your well-being. It's not just code you're receiving. It's an entire template for living so that you're able to live with each other. Now, for some of you who may be living with someone already, and yet you feel like your partner is not in alignment with you, what do you do about that? Okay, because you are intended to have material comforts and well-being. Your body needs to be safe. So it can be as small as you want. It could be as minimalist as you want. Or it can be as luxurious as you want because that is actually a very personal thing. You get to customize your entire template. Most of you are only at the beginning of the template. Now, when I say template, what this means is it is a template for living here. You're still going to be living here. You're still going to be canubulating with each other. And you are still going to be interacting, particularly if you have responsibilities like children, elderly parents. That's another thing to know. Children and even your animals might be acting out or not themselves as we go through this energy. That's what I, that is something that I know quite a bit about, particularly children around puberty age, girls and boys. Girls will have uh, changes in their cycles. And again, this is going to be the moon energy. Okay. This is going to be, you know, the moon is going to be very moody and it's going to bring out some shadowy stuff. And you're going to have the sun, which is going to bring the lively, sparkling, shiny things. This is where you're, you're getting yourself back. What do you get when you go into the sun? Your body is able to alchemize things. In the northern hemisphere, we will have less sun. It's going to be more important and vital for you to get the things that you need. That's something that I know a lot about. And in fact, I have put it into uh, several of my webinars, Multidimensional Living. This is in four parts. It's an excellent presentation about many of the things that you will experience over the next several months. These are recorded webinars. I ran this live. There was a lot of great feedback, but now the recording is available uh, for purchase. And being home with each other, because this one will teach you about the two levels. So it is actually, this one is helpful first, and then this one, but they tag on to each other. There's some really important things to know that I'm going to talk about based on some questions that I had. Because I had some people reach out and sort of say, you know, well, what is, you know, we're approaching the end of the year here. And more people will awaken in 2019. You are responsible for your twins awakening. Just like that song, wake me up inside, wake me up inside. You have to help them to wake up. It's a daily thing. And if you don't know what to do, and if you're doing it here, if you're just doing it in one area of your body, that's actually very limited. And it's very fourth dimensional. So if you're doing this, okay, if you're doing that, if instead of focusing on each other, you're focusing on all kinds of other people and not giving your twin the time of day, that's not going to be helpful, okay? What is helpful is making some time every single day to do some simple things that are outlined in here. Very important, though, because it is that that gives you the result. It is that that starts to bring in the vitality, the pleasure that you want, the health that you want, the well-being. Okay, I talk to people with some major traumas, too. There are people uh, kicking addictions. There are people with extreme abuses. There are people with past life stuff that it is very challenging to get over. The reason that I mentioned that I'm a Blu-ray for two reasons. Number one, I was pushed really hard to start getting out there and start talking about it and talking about some of the things I experienced. So much so that a lot of people said, hey, 
I think I've been going through that too. Wow. And then I started to say, you're not crazy because you can't, I don't think we could even make up the things that happened, right? And yet it makes you wonder, did I imagine that? Yeah, that's normal, but you're not crazy. But what started happening is people started coming forward and feeling confident about who they really are. That was the main gist of it. I didn't want to do that. But that is my observation of what I started noticing happening. The next thing that started to happen is people really came into an acceptance of who they are and started to find some measure of success with what they felt they needed to do. Now, I've been talking to people, like I said, for years. I've been doing videos since 2014. That was some reluctance on my part as well because I did not want to have to do that, okay? I woke up one Sunday to a comment about someone who wanted to just shoot me, and that scared me, okay? I'm not going to lie about it. It scared me. It was also totally uncalled for, and I took appropriate steps about it. But if you think it's easy to be, you know, out here and saying this, I am here to let people know there are ways to make some of this easier, okay? Yes, I'm a teacher, okay? I'm like that college calculus teacher who's expecting a new batch of students to teach some high-level stuff. And not everyone's going to jump on it, and that's fine. That's fine. But for those who do want it, and I'm very proud of my work, okay, I, I don't have to be ashamed of what I'm doing, and I shouldn't have to um, apologize for it because this is something that I work very hard for. I put it together. I am making it available. But I also want to mention one other thing, that as a Blu-ray, there are activations that go with the template. You get an extra boost from this material and you get the light codes. You start to get them activated and open and you start to get things into a direction that you really want it to be. So I've been having some very good results with people just by getting their energy moving. That is something that is my gift. Now, how would it be if God gave me a gift and I didn't use it? You know, do you, what if someone's a gifted surgeon or a gifted chef or something like that? You know, people do have other gifts. The next thing I'm going to mention is about mission, what people call mission. Now, if you're doing a mission, the first part of that mission is your vitality, because if you don't have the strength and the love, or let's put it this way. If you don't have the love, you don't have the strength and the energy, you won't have clear direction, and you won't be in alignment to do that part. So the first part of that is the alignment and unifying your subtle bodies. The next part is, I like to call it the calling of the heart rather than mission, because mission sounds, it sounds a bit, um, and it has some different connotations maybe. But I like to call it the calling of the heart because once you start pulling your love through, your love wants to express itself in the world. That's what you're feeling. You're feeling, ooh, how are we going to express ourselves? I feel to do this and I feel to do that. Okay, you still deserve. The being you are deserves good stuff. A nice place to lay your head. A safe place for you and each other, not just you, but each other. Those are the things that start to shift for people. It may not be as fully pleasurable as you once had, and you're sort of in that direction, but the other parts of the structure of your life are getting set up. The moral compass is pointing in the right direction. The masculine, which is responsible for a lot of the setup of structure in an unseen way. Okay, you might not see what he is doing, he or she, because masculine can be feminine and mass in a female or male body. But the masculine is responsible for a large 
degree in percentage of the structure, okay? The masculine energy, particularly the mas magnetic masculine, supports, okay? Supports. Now, you know, people have also commented, I don't talk about electric and magnetic. You need to catch up with my material. I've been talking about it for years, actually. Sometimes till I feel that I, I'm starting to reach the right people and it starts to ping back to me where they're not only understanding it, but they're feeling it because they're experiencing it. What does the electric masculine feel like? What does the magnetic masculine feel like? What does the electric feminine feel like? What does the magnetic feminine feel like? And you see, you have both. You have a couple that at one time, one was electric, one was magnetic, one would suck out all the energy and the other one had to wait. And you might feel like you're still waiting, but I'm going to tell you, you have both energies that then you're expected to twine together. Okay, so this is going in the proper direction. But just like anything else, you can't put a roof on a structure without the foundation and the walls. That is the structure I'm talking about. It is the template, okay? Your template of relationship from 5D. That's what I'm, that's, those are the words I get and that's what I'm referring it to. Other people might use things like diamond light -like codes, crystal structure, crystal mind. It is a template of relationship from 5D. So in other words, that's something that you share with each other. Okay, there's not a separate one for each of you. There is a way that you're able to still feel yourself. And I also explain that in my webinars, okay? Because when you have two people and one may have already worked on themselves, okay? This isn't always the work that you expect because your light body does require certain things. And I outlined that in here, okay? Some of the, it's not gonna be food, but it may be certain nutrients. It's very individual. It will be certain things through certain patches, which is why I tend to recommend, I get guidance on what is recommended for certain time frames, And because we are in this still retrograde energy, where we're getting rid of a lot of, believe it or not, Mars and Venus stuff, even though it's not a Mars retrograde, we're getting rid of a lot of the aspects of masculine with feminine from the past, from the ancestral past. So if you would like to um, learn more, please check out either of these webinars. The links are below. They're also on my website. And I have quite a bit of information. If you're not sure, and you're not sure which session to get with me, if you're not sure which webinar would be helpful, write me, Twin Flames Merge at Gmail. Also, if you're in California, if you're in the Los Angeles area, I am having a class there from the 26th to the 28th where I will be doing teaching and live hands-on body energy work from the ninth dimension, yes, because I'm a Blu-ray, of your subtle body energies. So this is, uh, you might think that this is arrogance. This is not, it is confidence because I'm very sure of what I had to go through in order to make those connections again, because being out of the old paradigm leaves you feeling like you're between two places. You're between two worlds, you're between two realms. And it's not understandable. I'm here to help it not only make sense, but to help you not only get on track, stay on track, get the things going in your life that you need for what you need, okay? That's not being needy. You should need things. You should need quality food. You should need a quality place to live. And further, you deserve it. You are a being that deserves love. I'm gonna take this one step further. I know for sure, because I've been through breakups, and there's a very strong drive to be with someone, to be touched. Yes, you are tactile beings. 
Yes, that desire in, is in your heart for a reason. Yes, I understand the need for touch and love and nurturance, tenderness and warmth. But there is a way to touch each other with your subtle body. And that is also what I teach because that is also a part of you. Being able to touch each other across the miles and be touched back to know each other, and not just know the human with the flaws, to be able to feel and smile and get those beautiful, warm intimacies wherever you are, and to be doing it gradually, snuggling, touching. Yes, there are reasons that you feel the way that you do. Living as a loner is not the normal, okay? Living between two realms, okay, that's for a little bit of a patch of time. But only you can help get this template up and running because that template is your vitality. I hope that I see quite a few of you here in Los Angeles. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an announcement about a meetup. I don't have the place yet, but I will uh, while I'm there. And if you uh, have any questions, email me. I hope that you have a wonderful week. I know that uh, we're, we're strongly heading here towards the solstice, and there's going to be a lot of uh, questions about, well, what's that bringing? What it's bringing is some awakenings, and that's a welcome thing. So there's... You know, there is a sense of maybe us and them, the awakened ones and the not awakened ones. And you might, you know, it's Halloween. It's going to be Halloween here in a week. And you have a lot of connotations of death and dying and things dying and, you know, things that don't smell so good and things that, you know, go bump in the night. Okay. But. There's also traditionally the thinning of the veil that occurs around that time of year. There's a lot of cultures that celebrate their ancestors and traditions that they have. So I encourage you, you know, take, take what you really like. Take those things. That's a part of your material comfort. If you enjoy a celebration, a season, a festival, take it, attach it to your template. You don't know how come and call me okay reach out at my website www.twinflamesmerch.com so thanks so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful week and i will see you soon with more updates and energies and what to do with your kundalini Shh, it's just for you and your twin now that's why it's coming back to you okay and just many other information. Also, more classes, more webinars to help support you. Having a webinar, that's how I'm able to, um, you know, let people join for a lengthier time as a group. It's a safe group. And we have a lot of fun. There's a lot of joking. You get to ask questions and answers. Or reach out to me if this is something that you're not sure if you are on a twin flame journey. We will see. Thanks so much. Bye.